Hey everybody, Tony Hellenbrand here from Safeguard Wealth Management. I hope you all saw it on the news because at about 8 a.m. on Thursday, August 27th, that guy back there in the corner, Jerome Powell, announced that the Federal Reserve is gonna be targeting an inflation rate above 2%. So let's just back up for a second really quickly. Who is the Fed, what do they do? The Federal Reserve is not part of the government, okay? They're actually an organization of the entire banking system. They all get together. The, the chair back there, Jerome Powell, he is nominated by the president, but uh, he, he's not beholden to the president. So they're totally independent. They can do whatever they wanna do, and they affect the money supplies. Through buying and selling bonds, they're able to say, are interest rates gonna go higher or lower? Is inflation gonna go higher or lower? And just overall, they have a massive impact on the economy. So without getting into too much of my personal beliefs on all this stuff, the, the important thing for everyone watching this right now is that for a long time, the Federal Reserve has kind of informally said, if inflation starts to get up above 2%, we're gonna raise interest rates. This kind of cools off the economy and, and keeps everything good so we, we're not all you know, bleeding thousands and thousands of dollars to inflation. Now, effective August 27th at 8 a.m., he announced they're gonna let inflation go above 2% and still not adjust interest rates. So what does that mean? Higher inflation. I think we're probably gonna see three, maybe even 4% inflation in coming years. And again, what does that mean? It's just a higher hurdle that your money has to overcome to actually grow. If you're getting a 3% growth rate now, and inflation's 3%, that's probably not gonna mean much. I mean, you might stay where you're at wealth-wise, but if, if you're you know taking taxes out of it and stuff like that, you might actually be moving backwards. So you want, you want the ability to outperform those two and 3% rates. And uh, we've, we've had a graphic we've sent around that shows the impact of a 3% fee, where a, a you know, $800,000 investment becomes a $300,000 investment after adjusting for a 3% fee. Well, inflation is basically just like that. It's a 3% fee, a 3% drag on your money. So um, the, the last thing I just wanna leave you with, I, looking down at my notes here, is who, who's the big winners and losers from all this? Well, first off, the biggest winner is the stock market. I mean, you saw it as soon as it was officially announced, the market rallied a little bit, and, and really there's not gonna be as much fear of the Fed raising interest rates and cooling off the economy going forward. They're probably gonna let things run. That's also big news for real estate because the lower rates are, the more money people can afford to pay for real estate, whether it's homes or investment properties or whatever. They can afford larger and larger debt loads because the interest rates are smaller and smaller. So the biggest winner will be stocks. Second biggest winner will be real estate. Gold is probably also gonna rally out of this as the, as the inflation expectations keep going higher and higher. The biggest loser out there is bonds. If you have a bond right now at a, at a 0.7 or 1 or even 2% interest rate, those are all losing money. Okay, if you're getting 2% right now, you are losing wealth. The guy that's in charge of the rate of inflation says he's gonna let it go two, three, four percent So this is just huge news. It's gonna impact all of us, but especially if you're on the cusp of retirement, this has a big impact on your retirement plan. And, and if you haven't seen the impact of inflation, I strongly recommend you reach out to us and we can show you some better ways to help overcome inflation. Of course, one of the biggest ways is an index annuity. That's another big winner through all of this because it's gonna be unlimited upside. The growth is totally unlimited. It's driven by the stock market, which was, is also a big winner in all this. So the, the upside is, is still there with the index annuities, but you still have the principal safety and not take the market risk. Anyway, inflation, it's here to stay. It's gonna be here for a long time and it's gonna have a bigger impact than ever as the Fed lets that impact grow larger and larger. And um, this is Tony Hellenbrand from Safeguard Wealth Management just reminding all of you, you don't need more money. You need a better plan and you need a plan that can address inflation. Thanks for watching.